up, what up, what up, everybody? This is the Block 17 here once again. I'm gonna just, this is gonna be a real quick video, hopefully. I'm gonna just show you a quick tutorial about GarageBand 09. I'll just show you right quick how to make a like quick little beat. Not, it's not gonna be no huge thing. So, you're gonna start up GarageBand, you're gonna present it with this. We're just gonna click on loops. Okay, and it's, uh, this is gonna be a basic beat, so that's what we're gonna call it. Basic beat. And then hit create right here. And everything, and okay. So you present it with this layout, and we got what we wanna look at is right here. This is all you need right here. You want drums, you click the drums, you want any beats. Right there, they got beats for you. They got percussions. They got bass, guitar, piano, everything you need. So we're just gonna go to all drums and find like just a basic uh, beat, whatever. Uh, okay, modern rock. If you wanna preview it, there we go right there. Yeah. That's what I want. And you see it's too short to make a real basic beat, so we're gonna Go in the top right hand corner and just click and drag. And drag it to about right here. So now that's set up, we're gonna hit that reset button. Let's go to guitars. Let's see. Classic rock. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that sounds good enough for me for this quick video right here. I don't wanna bore you guys, so here we go right now. We got it all set up, and if you want to hear it, just press play. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, sounds pretty good. And if you want to add more stuff, just once again, I'm not going to do a whole beat making thing. It's just a basic beat right here. Just click bass if you want to pick out different basses, piano, strings, anything. Now a little bonus tip right here for you guys. Let's uh add a new track because I'm gonna be using my voice for here. Now I know a lot of you guys the new trend is um the music industry is using auto tune that like those that kind of that voice effect that like most artists are using today like T Pain and whatnot and what have you. So you can actually do that in GarageBand, and I'm going to show you right now. First, we're going to record our track. I muted both these albums because I don't have my headphones on right now, so I don't want it to interfere. And you may hear like a tapping noise. That's probably going to be the tempo thing. So here we go. This is the Block 17. This is the Block 17. Comment, rate, subscribe. Okay, and that was it. Let's just hear the original voice. This is the block 17. Okay, it's here. Just regular, no um effects. Now to add the T-Pain effect, the auto-tune effect, simple. You're gonna go right here to the scissors, click that. You're gonna leave all this pitch and whatever. You're gonna take enhanced tuning. Put it all the way to 100. Click limit to key. You're gonna take enhanced timing all the way to the max. And there we go. Let's see. This is the block 17. This is the block 17. Comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs> and there we go. That's the T-Pain voice effect in GarageBand. Once again, you just take enhanced tuning to 100. Click the limited key box and take enhanced timing all the way to the max. So guys, it's just a quick video about GarageBand. How to do some beats and Apple loops, whatever. So hit me up, any questions, whatever. I'll catch you guys later keep showing the love now keep making these videos because i love this tech stuff so i'll check you guys later peace